If you are struggling with remaining pure, remaining abstinent, this message is for you. I'm going to use myself as an example. Okay, I'm going to put my business out here for a little bit. Last person I slept with that I had sex with before I gave my life back to God, before he slapped me on the back of the neck with the Jesus sandal. The last person I slept with, I felt disgusted. I felt icky. I felt out of my body. I didn't feel like myself. I knew it was, it was, for, it was the first time in my life where I knew it was wrong. In the past, you getting it, I wasn't thinking about nothing was wrong with this. It was the first time in my life where I felt so disgusted by it. And I was like, this is wrong. This does not feel right. And not only that, I was lonely. I was always, always felt, and I always thought it was because I was, I'm an only child, but I just felt lonely. It was sad a lot. I was always looking for the next sexual high. And once I realized that nobody but God could fulfill that or fill that void, my life, my life did a 360, a complete 360. So if you are struggling with lustful thoughts right now temptation how do i do this father i when I, I tell y'all if you put your faith and your trust in the lord thy god above whom strengthens all of us if you cast your cares upon him he will get you all the way together okay he will do a complete 360 on your life and if you keep praying and fasting against lust and temptation if you train your thoughts to immediately pray to immediately turn to scripture and to immediately remember that your temple that your excuse me that your body is a temple and that you are to keep it holy because that honors god it's going to make the process all the more better okay now let's go to a little bit of scripture if you go to first corinthians 3 and we're going to go down to 16 it says know ye that ye are the temple of god and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. The spirit of God dwelleth in you. So if the spirit of God dwells within us, right? We it's we have an obligation to keep the Holy Spirit within us protected and pure as possible, do we not? That's what I be thinking about. As soon as a thought or something try to come and I be like, you know what? This does not please the Holy Spirit that is living within me. I have to clean this up. This is not making my Holy Spirit happy. It's like when I start to eat certain foods now. I'd be like, let me put these chips down. This does not please my father. Let me put this burger down with all the extra cheese and the, and the onions and the sauce. Let me put this down because this is not pleasing to my Holy Spirit. Let me go eat some watermelon. Let me let me go do something like that. That's what I'd be doing. And if you go to 17, it says, If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are which you are which we are the temple because the holy spirit dwells within us honoring this body of ours keeping it pure keeping it holy is what we're supposed to be doing this is why we're not supposed to be outside up under somebody's dusty son or daughter getting it in with the wrong person because when we do that we defile ourselves especially if it's outside of marriage and we're fornicating we are not supposed to be fornicating it fornication messes you up and it messes you up beyond the physical it's spiritual baby okay first thessalonians 4 and 3 says for this is the will of god even your sanctification that ye should abstain from fornication we should be abstaining from it because it is the will of god ephesians 5 and 5 says for you may be sure of this that everyone who is sexually immoral or impure or who is covetous that is an idolater has no inheritance in the kingdom of Christ of God. Ooh, Lord. And then 1 Corinthians 7 and 2 says, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. So if you are struggling with your purity, if you are tr struggling with trying to remain pure, if you're just having a hard time, I need y'all to pray like you've never prayed before. Fast. Continue to seek God's face. Surround yourselves with people who are on the same journey as you, who can offer you guidance and advice. Surround yourself with people who realize that it's not cool for us to just be out here fornicating and just slide into fornication because we have a forgiving God. No, no, no. We don't want that. Don't. Yeah, also get out the habit of just doing stuff and committing sins because you have a forgiving God. Let's stop doing that as well. 
let's stop backsliding on purpose because we have a god who's going to forgive us because jesus died for our sins so it's already paid off no no, no baby let's stop doing that all right we have to get out that happy to at habit today this is really a temple this is a vessel it's holy it's special we are not to be giving all of this to everybody and it took me a while to learn that if you listen to my podcast and my and how before i got saved what i was outside doing okay honey uh, it took me a very long time to realize that this is, in fact, the temple. I shouldn't have had so many people or given so many people access to me. They didn't deserve me in the first place. But had I knew better, I would have did better. But that's why now when you get saved, you know better. So when it comes to my abstinence, it's really important to me. And ain't no man going to take me off of it. <laughs> I, boy, I wish, I wish somebody would <laughs> try to come up on here and try to get me off my post. I've worked too hard. So I work too hard to remove sexual demons, incubus spirits, succubus spirits, spirit spouses to, to, to be delivered from porn and masturbation. I've worked so hard. So when I think about my abstinence and how hard I worked, you think I'm going to go give that up just for lustful thoughts and temptation to stop? I, I wish I would. I wish I would. I wish I would. I work too hard. I'm sorry. I work too hard to get where I am right now to be able to get on this platform and talk to y'all. I work too hard because I used to be outside, honey, okay? Couldn't even remember names at one point. So, please, <laughs> to get here, to be saved and delivered, to have my thoughts pure. I don't even know what to do sometimes. Sometimes I be like, dang, I really don't even be thinking about nothing. And I'm not bragging. I just like, because I pray so much for the renewing of my mind, body, and spirit that it's just like, okay, sis, I see the growth. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say? Okay. Y'all get it. But if you are struggling with that, remember that this is your temple. Keep it pure and honor God by keeping it pure. Have a good night.